They doubled the drill known as Cinewally drills from the Philippines. She is certified for coordination and hand coordination range, and you'll still also see over here the closer range. They're entering back and forth in and out. Develop the hand and eye coordination for the different ranges. Develop the right hand and left hand equally. In reality, they'd be hitting the hand, but since they want to continue the training, they can move the stick and then they salute it out. It could be applied to empty hand training. However, this is going to be a different martial art. We're doing this Muay Thai. Muay Thai kickboxing is a Thai pass. It's Terry Tippy kicking away here. This is one of the ways they develop their, their renowned power. Very heavy kicks. Going into the knee. They call it a sport, but I wouldn't want to try and uh, find out just how street effective it is because it works. Man, that would be at the end of the round. Okay, comes in, goes into hand combination, going into the elbow combination, going into knee, tying this up, call this the plum. It's a euphemistic little uh, term for what that really does. Signals back with the hand combination. If we got a good head boxing skill, it goes into the round kicking combinations. Incredible endurance training. The worst Thai boxer has incredible endurance. And the good ones, it's unbelievable. Phenomenal endurance training. They do this round after round. Thank you guys. Okay. In this next situation, what you're seeing is some Jun Pan trapping. This is loosely modified Wing Chun into a Salat follow-up. Again, the entry training into the trapping. It's hard to see how this really works unless they bash each other and they're, gonna, they're just doing this for training. See, and again, another throw and a finish. Notice it's very lively the way they enter. It's almost like fencing, coming up into the trapping, and a throw, finishing strikes. And again, high low, hand foot entry, and goes into the chin claw trapping and into the pinch oxalot finishing off. showing just different possibilities of how one lock can lead to another if one lock is resistant. Again, just so you develop some finesse, if one lock is not working, it goes to another lock. It's just another way, it's a training method. This is not supposed to represent combat. It's just to represent a training method into ground locking. Because you never know where things are going to lead to in a confrontation. It's high, low, take the leg out, goes into a leg locking combination. If that wasn't working, then he turns him over into another locking combination. This step is impossible to appreciate unless you're on the receiving end. But that tapping out is very sincere. Again, punching in the hand com off the hand combination, reaching around, being very gentle with that neck, hand down, and good night. <laughs> again, the punching, again, he sweeps him down, leg takedown, stretches it out, angle lock, hip lock, Achilles lock, steps it over, another Achilles lock. He taps out, Bruce taps out to let him know that the lock is on. Again, takes care of the punches, goes into a neck crane. If that was slipping, then there's another alternate neck combination. Again, dealing with the punching, getting into the choking, and this will be uh, that will be the end of the situation. Again, dealing with the hands first, the arm wrench, back into the wrist, down onto the ground. Takes it over into a chicken wing combination. which was a Japanese art. This is a back into, this is numerado, where Tim is feeding Louis random lines, and Louis, with the dagger and the stick, is improvising counters in a constant flow, in a constant barrage, any which of those strikes that would end the confrontation. But for the sake of Louis' training and developing the flow and understanding quickly how to see and counter in a constant barrage, he just continues the flow, and Tim feeds slowly so that Louis, so Louis can see the lines. We'll speed up later and later, but really we want the audience to see the lines because they can do this a lot faster. All of these strikes would end it with that dagger coming in and out and hitting the hand and hitting the arm. Nice, that's good, nice guys. And that's it. <laughs> okay, back into some double stick drills. We'll start a long range. And again, a numerato. So if Chad feeds Damon, 
gives them different lines to counter. And Damon is watching each of those lines. This is not choreographed. This is not predetermined. Damon watches what Chad feeds, and he just counters it spontaneously. That way, in confrontation, since you don't know what's going to happen, you can have a spontaneous response. Now it's Chad's turn to follow up. Damon trains him. Gives him different lines, high and low, throughout, sits the legs, sits the head. And Chad follows up spontaneously, hitting with multiple barrage of hits. He wouldn't be just dusting off flies here. All of those hits would really be to the various places of the body. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks, Damon. Okay. And again, back into whether it's Thai, whether it's Filipino, whether it's boxing, whether it's kickboxing, we use the focus muscles to develop the body mechanics. Because if you're just punching the air, it's not going to be too cool when you actually have to fight a real person, if that's the case. So we use tools like the focus mitts to actually develop our power. Eric gives Bruce random targets which Bruce simply has to hit as soon as he sees it with as much power as he can muster. Sometimes Eric feeds back the punches so that, so that uh, he has to pay attention to the defense as well. Again, he signals, that would be a kick to the knee, goes back out, and immediately the jab in, so his hand, low hand is giving Eric, feeding him different entry combinations. Entry combinations, goes back in to follow up with a hand combination. Develop that hand, the hand and the defense as well. Nice job, guys. Okay, now again, in this technique, now he's showing long and short, which we showed in the fitting, he's showing a little bit more intricate technique where he actually deals with disarming and countering somebody with a stick and dagger. Very complicated techniques. He comes in there, but he enters, he's smashing the hand, taking it out, and that's it for chair. Again, he counters, there's a pipe, the pipe blocks it off, takes down with the neck, and finishes off. The same techniques will apply to empty hand training later, later on. Again, counters the stick, counters the knife, takes him over, and that's it. Single stick, again disarm, and he's using his own stick back against him. Again, heels with a single stick, a block check, heels it out, and multiple strikes as a return. Again, counters with an inside sweep, takes it away with wind, and knocks it back. Multiple strikes, many strikes within within a period of five seconds. There are a lot of strikes that are going to be going on. Multiple already, so called already. Outside deflection, strips it down and feeds it back. And counters off the side. He peels it out and takes him down into a choke as he also takes care of that stick, make sure he's not hitting it way down. And again, takes it out, throw, and down. Again, quick switches, arm bar down, and hits. The hits that he's hitting on the stage or off in the air would be on the body. But now, empty hand, you never know, strips it against his own body, blocks him, takes him down. Again, counters the stick, strips it out, arm bar, and down, kicking on the way down. As the saying goes, don't kick the man when he's down, kick him while he's going down. Okay, again, counters the stick, takes it out, feeds it back, blocks up the stick with him, takes him down, finish off. Last one, guys. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Chad. Yet more mayhem. Okay, again, they're out here, they're working their own shadow boxing, now they face each other. And they're shadow boxing against each other as they, and now they go into long range and immediate range. They're just counter for counter. They're countering back and forth to each other in a flow, just like chess. They counter each other, they go out the long range, into intermediate range, long range, down to intermediate range, down to close quarter, where they can try and hit each other with the butt of the stick. Now even close, closer quarter range, where they try and trap him back and forth with the pattern. They go out, he disarms the stick, Yori disarms the stick. Yori, then they go into empty hand training, into the trapping, because you never know what your environment will give you. He traps back. Okay, Yori comes in, he traps, comes in, he juts out, this is again the modified Junfan Wing Chun training. And just nice job, Yoshi, nice job.